Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to uh, do another installment of the Tinkercad workflows. And in this video, what we're going to do is take a look at creating a stanchion for one of our camera slider projects. So with this, a couple different pieces that uh, I want to share. And, and one of the main ones is uh, how to work in a rapid prototype design, how to get from idea to actual product as quickly as possible, as well as how to work with supports. And in this case, I'm speaking of structural supports, not those supports put in in slicers or a slicer type environment. So basically what we'll do is uh, for this we need to create a vertical stanchion so we want to create a ruler and we're going to start out with a column and then so basically this column we're going to need to be 23.8 millimeters tall and then basically we are going to want this to be 18 millimeters around. Now um, little bit of tip here so this is this is my basic size that I, I want to get so this is as tall as I want the object to be now a few structural things obviously at 18 millimeters uh, there's going to be a lot of lateral torque on this uh, cylinder uh, because we'll place a camera up here and it's going to want to pull it. So what we're going to want to do is add a bit of a base to it. Now we don't need a lot of a base. Um, so a good rule of thumb, what I do is I like to to double the um, the base. So basically we have 18 millimeters here. So we're going to double that. Uh, so what's that going to be? About 36. So we're going to say that this is now going to be 36 millimeters by 36 and the pieces we don't really need it that tall because again what we want to do is use this to distribute uh, the lateral force so it doesn't have to be very tall at all so we're going to make this about three millimeters uh, tall and then what we're going to do is just go through and we're going to use the adjust we're going to use a line and then we're just going to square this up and everything's aligned and so so now we have this so we have when there's lateral torque on this stanchion uh, it'll be now distributed over twice the surface area of the stanchion itself so that's a good thing however we do have a weakness right here at this joint so there's a couple different ways we could deal with that weakness we could do a fillet so we could use a, sort of a, a, a torus shell to create a fillet uh, in here sort of like uh, this maybe if we um, let's do this do a quick adjust and I'll show you what I'm getting at I have to do a little bit adjustment here so so basically this this is now what we refer to as a fillet so we've added ex, we've added extra material here to build this out and this is probably you know for what we're doing would be okay uh, because what it's going to ha do is again uh, remove some of the lateral forces of the stress between these two structures because again we're we're transmitting um, you know the the weight downward from this structure in this way you know or, or one of the lateral ways which is going to put pressure on this from from an engineering standpoint now you we can get all math on it but i mean i think you basically get the idea there's there's also a couple other ways that i'd like to to deal with these and these are uh this this is by using uh wedges to create um uh, again structural support so what we're going to do is we're going to create this we're going to narrow this guy up and we're going to put him down to uh, we're going to just keep him at five and then what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and then we're going to duplicate him and then what we're going to do is drag this guy around and we're going to take him 180 degrees around. So right there we go. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put this guy right here. And then um, again, we're going to use my favorite tool, the align. So we're going to align both of these guys. And then 
basically move them forward until they're together and uh, one of the things I want to do is I want to increase my uh, edit grid so now what we're going to do is we're going to group group these two together so now they're one unit and then what we're going to do is well I don't think they quite joined very well so I'm going to separate them again and um, push them together a little bit further uh, let me go with a little bit more on the grid to make sure I got right amount of overlap I think that should do it and then so we're going to add this we're going to group this together yeah, that's still not grouping together that great, but that's okay. Um, it'll work for what we want to do because we're going to duplicate this guy again. And then we're going to take this duplicated version and then we're going to flip him by 90 degrees. And then we're going to put him back here. And then what I'm going to do is again go back, I think you've guessed it, and do an align and align these guys and then boom we have that and then let's go through and group these and um, so 30 39.8 so we're at 32 36 on that so what I want to change these guys to is 32 and so we keep proportion the same and then what we're going to do is we're going to move this into this structure and then again we're going to align and then you see we now have not only a fillet type structure but we also have uh, supports so now I want a little bit more support so I'm going to kick this out a little bit I'm going to make this 36 and then I'm going to uh, find the other one was 32 and then let's make this 36 also and let's see if uh, we should be able to hold that all inside so let's go through and do our line again uh, come on uh, I missed clicking it, so uh, we gotta do it again. So we've aligned that one, and we've aligned that one there. That looks better. Um, so they're sticking out a little bit. So I think I'm gonna have to go to if I can keep it. Uh, I have to move it a little bit. Sometimes when you get this problem, you gotta move it a little bit. So I'm going to go to 35.5 and then get this guy over here and make him 35.5 and again we're going to adjust so we align everything. I keep meaning to make an, a macro to do this. Um, still, still have a little bit showing, so I think I'm going to have to go just right down to 35 and call it done. Um, but one of the other things I do want to do. Let's pull this up so it's a little bit short and hopefully you can see that so I have a little bit bigger stanchions. Uh, okay, so let's go back and let's do an align again. And so it looks like we only have to go that way. So now it looks like we're pretty good. So we have now have two forms of support. We have the stanchions plus we have fillet material in here. So now the only thing we have to do is pop a hole in it for our quarter 20 uh, bolt. So basically, let's see, 24, 12, so about six and a half. Let's go give it a little bit. Eh. So let's go 7.5 by 7.5 and 
boom, knock the hole. It's now another tip here is to you notice I haven't joined all these yet. Uh, I, I kind of like when I'm doing stuff like this is to save you know save my joints because Tinkercad does limit them and there also is an overhead to because basically what Tinkercad does is records all your actions so I'm trying to minimize them and it, it, it actually makes the model simpler to render or faster to render so now we have this complete and then we group it and there we go we now have our stanchion so we have quarter 20 inch bolt so this will raise us up off the platform and then we can mount a camera on top of here to, uh, to the uh, the tripod mount and then basically what happens it'll distribute the weight on the sled over twice the area and then we have both fillet and um, ankled supports uh, to handle the weight so again it'll be steadier and transfer a lot of the uh, motion and, and force into this larger disc area down to the plate or slider plate for the camera so uh, anyways uh, just kind of wanted to do a video showing a couple different things and in, in, as you see how quick you know we went from a concept to a finished product in the next video uh, we'll actually print this out and see how it works and how it came out um, eventually we're going to build a camera kind of like gimbal that will go on top of here or our own 3d printed head but for right now this will work for um, what we need to and, and to demonstrate it so uh, so hopefully this this helped kind of explain how to work with it because again you saw how we did the um, the angled stanchions how we used the the uh, the Taurus shell to Produce the fillet very rapidly, and then we in, in the final um, task is we just knocked the hole down the center and brought it all together. So again, just a matter of minutes, and, and again, a lot of this is just me talking and kind of showing. Uh, you know, you can create a part like this in just simply you know a matter of minutes in Tinkercad. It's a very actually powerful program to do something like this. And again, um, you know, you saw how we started out with basically one wedge and then ended up with four in this whole triangular shape concoction, which we just moved in and then uh, joined with everything. So uh, this will be a very solid piece between all these v various mounts. So. Um, again kind of wanted to share the idea of of the structural supports the transfer of the transfer of basically torque from this smaller um, vertical object to this larger plate and some of the quick concepts and rules of thumb i use for design so anyways hopefully this helped if it did give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel there'll be more videos like this coming Cheers.